We hit 10,000 subscribers. Taters all pleased because he's on the news. And uh, yeah, Tim drinks some 7-Eleven coffee again. All right, first, I want to thank everybody for 10,000 subscribers. Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I know. I know it's not as much as the great Sarasota Tim or the mighty Tater Tot Nomadic Fanatic, but hey, it's still a good accomplishment for me. For just some old blind guy sitting in his mommy's basement. Well, yeah, anyway, I am uh, pretty proud of myself, and it is all due to you guys. So... Like Tim says, I want to thank my wonderful community. Now, I, I thank you guys. I really do appreciate everything, and especially all you guys who've been around for the six, seven, however many years it's been, and all my moderators and everybody, I do appreciate it. And to all the new subs, welcome to the shit show. That's right. Um, I'm not a point, shoot, and upload kind of guy. Because, contrary to popular belief and what the Tim bits say, I do care about my subs because I put forth the effort. I, I, I do to the best of my ability. I just don't point, shoot, upload, point, shoot, upload all day long. No, I put forth the effort. I take the time, I edit, and I try to put together something that I think you guys will like. And apparently it's working because, again, 10,000 do appreciate it. And I hope it keeps climbing you guys are awesome now we got tater who was just so thrilled with himself because ooh, he was on the news oh well first of all they probably saw him because of that big dumb hat they were like yeah look there's that guy with big dumb hat let's go over that moron and see what he has to say about the nascar scene but anyway here's the thing when i was a firefighter i was on the news all the time didn't want to be because we had a little rule at the firehouse. If you got caught on the news, you owed everybody donuts and you had to bring donuts and coffee for everybody at the station who caught you on the news. So you try to avoid being on the news at all costs at the, at the firehouse. So yeah, being on the news, sure, it might be exciting for a big narcissist, a little tiny man with that, uh, you know, Napoleon complex. No, it's, it's not that big of a deal, actually. And again, I was on it so many times. And then even a couple of times with band stuff, you get popped on the news. And so, yeah, I mean, again, sure, it's a little bit exciting, but it's not that big of a deal. But, you know, whatever, whatever blows the sunshine up, Tater's skirt is okay with me. So there you go. Tater made the news at NASCAR. <laughs> All right, now I want to address, I, I kind of misspoke or didn't, I didn't misspeak. I, I kind of spoke out of turn when I was talking about the windshield, the crack in the windshield. Yeah, I did notice that it was the car and not the RV. And then I kind of went on and I spoke right away about the RV going to get uh, reinspected and all that stuff. But I think, I'm not sure, but I think it's about time for the car to get inspected also. It's been a while. And uh, as far as I know, everything is a, a Texas thing. So maybe he doesn't have to take the car back because of the, the new rule where you don't have to do in-person inspections. But, however, the RV, even if they do get rid of that, uh, you don't have to do the in-person inspections anymore. Well, he's going to have to do it with the RV because he went, he got it inspected, went and failed to get it registered, and... If you don't get it registered within so many days, that inspection runs out and you have to redo that inspection. And this is all per tater. This isn't something that I made up. I don't know. Again, I know what happens here in Pennsylvania because that's what I got to deal with. I don't know what Texas does. I don't know what Arizona does. All I do know is Tater said that he had to get it reinspected. And even Texas residents didn't know, he proclaimed on his channel. Uh, so I'm just kind of relaying. But yeah, I did kind of get everything kind of jumbled up and mixed up when I was talking about everything. But yeah, I did, I did know that it was the car with the windshield and it did happen a long time ago. Cause it was up at Taterland at 7,000 feet when he noticed it. But again, he still didn't address it. 
it's just one more thing that he just doesn't address. He, he wants to run away from his problems, go to Mexico, and let's just go have fun and do whatever. I don't need to do these important things in life. And he wonders why he's so, everything's so stressful and fucked up. But as long as the camera's on, he's happy. When that camera goes off, not so much. And the other thing is, Tater, look. But we all see the Starlink in every video. We see it. It's laying out. It's sitting out. It's like, it's, the Starlink is out all the time. You're not fooling anybody. Everybody knows that you don't use connecting. You just say you do because they're paying you. That's the only reason. We, we know you don't use it. We know that you use the Starlink for every damn thing, and that's why it's always out. Always. Every video, we see it. So, I don't know. I, I, I know you need the money because this is all you have. You have zero in life without your little RV and your kitties and your fuzzy butts and your little, uh, you know, people that pay you just to yabber their name every video. But yeah, you don't use that connecting shit. You use Starlink. So yeah, you ain't fooling anybody. Now on Thursday night, that's right, uh, Thirsty Thursday, every Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern time, please come join us. We have a great time over there live streaming. But uh, yeah, we went over a video where Tim, Sarah, Soda, Tim, the wondrous uh, crushing it guy. Yeah, he said that he pay, he's, he spends about $800 a month on groceries. Well, he said uh, today that he was uh, he gets these uh, preformed, prepackaged prime rib burgers. Well, there you go. <laughs> that explains it. If you go shopping like that, well, then that's what you uh, that's what you're going to spend. You're going to spend money like that. But anybody, all my members know because uh, we had a little video. But yeah, the members know. See, I have prime rib burgers as well however i don't spend all that money for them because what i do is i get primal cuts i get entire ribeyes and i cut them down into steaks and all the trimmings they go in a bag and they get frozen until i have enough and then new york strips i do the same i get a whole entire new york strip and i cut it down and all the trimmings because you square up the ends and you put that in the bag and then when it gets close, if you don't have enough and, you, and you're a little bit antsy, you, you go out and you get a, a little chuck roast or something, and then you grind it all up. And what do you have? New York Strip ribeye burgers. And yes, they are very, very tasty. But I don't go to Walmart and pay somebody else to form patties and then package them all up and put a big old stamp on it and sell it to you that way. I do it the cheaper, easier way. Now, I know, I, I understand that you don't have the capability of going and buying a lot of stuff and you have to buy food for the day because you don't have a refrigerator and all that other shit. But that's not my fault because you're crushing it and I'm not. So if you don't have any room for shit, that's not my problem. Maybe you shouldn't live in a little teardrop or as I call it, an oversized coffin. Now, Mr. I'm crushing it. He seems to rely on many, many people for his life. I mean, he, he's got his, his, his travel trailer somewhere. It, where's that at? It's sitting somewhere, probably on somebody else's land. Uh, he, he has his little teardrop on somebody else's land. He, he, he is talking about taking his seats out and doing this and giving it to a neighbor. Somebody else has to take care of his little seats for his truck that he's taken out. He relies on his viewers to send him coffee money and support everything that he does because he didn't save anything. And he's telling everybody to retire at 62 and he knows that social security isn't enough to live on. So he relies on everybody on YouTube to send him money, but it just seems like everything he does, he has to rely on other people. Oh, I'm going to go do this and I'm going to go travel, but I, I don't have a place to put this. So somebody's going to have it and, and keep it for me. I, I can't do this. So somebody's going to cook for me. I, I can't do that, but somebody's going to do it for me. Uh, I got to, I, where am I going to put this big? Well, somebody's going to watch it for me. And well, somebody's going to store this for me and somebody's going to give me this and somebody, he relies on so many people. And you would think that a man of his age, at a certain point, you would grow to hell up and be able to take care of yourself. But I don't know. It, 
maybe it's just me, maybe it's just me, but I, I would be a little bit ashamed if I had to rely on so many people to just continue my life and go about my daily daily. And he's going ahead and he's bragging about this little room. It looks like a church. It's all white. This little tent thing that he got. Well, remember that other thing that he had that he is going to, oh, we're going to sell this. He wrapped it all up because it was too hard to set up the little room that attached that came with this little teardrop that he still doesn't know. Oh, look, wow. Wow. It has a window. You didn't know it had a window when you bought it. Wow. Look, the door, it sticks open with a Mac. You didn't know that when you bought it. Hey, look, it has a fan up there. A, 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 a fantastic fan. It's a Max fan, but a fantastic fan. But you didn't know that when you bought it. Oh, you know, I did know this. See this, this, this box on the front. He put that on there. He put it on. See, it came with a little tray. But he put this box on there. But you didn't know all the other shit. So you just went, I went that one. And you bought it and you took it home. And you go, wow, look, it has stuff like windows that go up and down. I don't know. But anyway, he got this little room that he was going to, well, it was too much of a hassle for him to set up. That seems to be a an issue with Tim because that's why he doesn't want to use his travel trailer because he doesn't want to set it up and tear it down. But anyway, he's bragging about this little church looking room he's got because it's white and it has windows and you can put them in and what is it well i can't change or stand up or do anything because basically the cramper is nothing but a bed with a roof on it and a little kitchen in the back so he's got he's bragging he's got this little privacy room that he can change his clothes and take a shit in it that's right if i'm not at a campsite or someplace where i can go in and use the bathroom well, yeah, I can go in this little room and take a dump in here. Isn't that nice? Oh, yeah, that's awesome. I wish wish I had one of those. Maybe I should put one up in my backyard so I can go outside and change my clothes and take a dump in my yard in the privacy of my little church-looking tent. I don't know. But as I just mentioned, he says that the uh, the travel trailer is too big. It's too heavy to travel with. I can I can't be pulling this thing around because, you know, I only get eight miles at a gallon and it's too much. I got to set it up and tear it down. And I mean, it's just not, it's not fun. It's not fun at all. Well, then why in the hell did you get it? And why did you make so many videos showing us the damn thing and giving us tours of it? Like you do this little teardrop. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Do you see this? Do you see this? It has this. It has this. It has that. Oh, look, it has that. And I'm here at the Walmart parking lot. Look, there it is. There's my, there it is. There it is. And later on that day, hey, look, now I'm parked along the street on the damn grass with my steps on the sidewalk. Hey, look, here's my, yeah, you just loved it. You bragged about it. You tell telling everybody you're just crushing it because you got this thing. You made enough videos bragging about it but oh no no that travel with it no no it's called a travel trailer but i don't want to travel with this trailer i, I might have to do stuff you know eight eight miles to the gallon gee i wonder i wonder what i was thinking when i bought this but then again he is the king of returns and he's already talking about oh well i i had to grill out and i was making these uh these uh <laughs> prime rib burgers and uh, the grill doesn't work. I only used it four or five times, so I'm going to have to take it back. So maybe he'll take the travel trailer back. I don't know. And he's talking about selling a teardrop after he's done his little travel. This dude, does he know what the fuck he's doing? I don't know. But I just I just find it amusing that, oh, I got a travel trailer. Somebody's going to keep it for me because I need everyone in my life to take care of something. Because I can't do anything for myself. But I'm crushing it. Yeah, I'm crushing it. But this travel trailer, oh no, oh, oh, it wasn't, a, it's a, it's a nice big space and has a bathroom, but why do I want to do that when I can shit in a tent, in a bucket? I mean, come on. I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't understand any of it, but I guess it's not for me to understand. The only thing I will say is this. If sleeping in an oversized coffin with a kitchen in the back, if changing and shitting in a tent with windows... If, depending on so many others, for every goddamn thing I do in my life, if that's crushing it, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'd, 
I'd rather not, not crush it. I'm just fine the way I am here. Living on grid and not crushing it. But hey, you don't have to agree with me. That's never the point here. What is the point? This is Blind Views, and that's the way I see it. What we do here is go back, 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 back.